Hi guys, so I've been away from YouTube for a while, sorry about that. Um, this return video I'm going to show you a problem I came across recently where I had um, a console with an older version of XBR flashed to it and I didn't have the CPU key, so I lost the CPU key, which was a bit of a problem. Um, to be honest, I couldn't be bothered opening up and attaching a Cygnus, reading off the NAND, decrypting, loading Zell, all that jazz. So what I did, um, to begin with, and there's plenty of guides on the net, I'll link one in the video description, is I loaded uh, Flash 360 onto the Xbox, I pulled off the image, I then inserted one of the Zell packages which you can get off Xbins and flash that back to the console using Flash 360. This allows you to get Zell to the console which is where I'm at just now. Now it's from here flashing your updated version of Freeboot that I'm going to show you. Um, Thanks, all thanks goes to a gentleman from Team Executor, and um, you can find his post online. It's a gentleman called Big Ted, um, and you can find the guide again by looking in the description or simply searching Flash from Zell on Google. It's your first result. Um, now, I'm going to start off with what you're going to need. You're going to need the Gen 2 Linux Live CD, which you'll find in the links in the description. You'll need at least one pen drive. Okay, um, I've got two here. The reason I would recommend having two is just in case, as you mount one of the pen drives to Linux, which I'll show you in a little while, um, maybe you forgot to put your your image onto the pen drive, and so a second one would be useful. Because in all honesty, Linux does take a little while to boot on the Xbox. And lastly, this is a wireless keyboard and mouse. It doesn't have to be a wireless keyboard and mouse, you could use a wired version, but if you do use a wired version you'll be using all three ports on the Xbox and so you won't be able to use your, your backup USB pen. Anyway, um, to get started, so, if you've got Zell on the console, booting Zell you should be able to read off your CPU key. Now, if we've got our CPU key, what you want to be doing is building um, your new Freeboot NAND can see that there. There we are. You want to be building your new Freeboot NAND with something called Freeboot NAND Reader. Um, this is made by a team I believe known as BestPig. It's bestpig.fr. You can download the program off of there. Um, you're going to need your CPU key. I don't mind you seeing this because it's not as if you're going to get the console. But uh, you're going to need your CPU key. And um, you will need the image which you ripped using Flash 360. So make sure you've got a backup, a couple of backups, because if you lose that image, you're pretty much screwed. That's, that's you finished if you lose that image. Okay, so paste in your, your CPU key. Um, simply select Auto Detect. I always remove the hash check, it's a nice feature, and it just guarantees that your image will work. Um, bit of being safe rather than sorry, I suppose. You don't have to remove the hash check if you're comfortable that the KV you've inserted into your image is the correct one for that image. Now, go to Generate Freeboot, really simple program. You simply select, let me just rename the one I made earlier. There we go. You simply select your original flash dump from 360 it will ask you, it will detect the motherboard revision and ask you if this is correct if it is, select yes I should tell you at this point that this method doesn't work for 128, 256 and 512 megabyte Jasper revisions this only works for the small block NANDs you hit yes and it will start generating shouldn't take any more than two minutes if you haven't entered the correct CPU key, at about 33% it will warn you that the CPU key is incorrect and it couldn't decrypt the KV. So here we go. And we're done. And wherever your flash dump from three Flash 360 was, is where it will leave the new freeboot image as you can see here okay so now that we've got that take a pen drive take a 
pen drive and plug it into your computer. Okay. So what we're going to do, we're going to need a few files on this pen drive. Again, links to these files I will post in the video description and I'll show you what you need on the pen drive here. So it just so happens I used the same pen drive to launch Flash 360. And so you will see that on the pen drive as well. Here we go. So what you will need is this iFlash and your new generated freeboot image. Doesn't have to be freeboot, I suppose it could be XPR, but that's a bit archaic now. So we're gonna go with freeboot. That's that done. Now there are some files on here which you won't recognize, namely this one. I'm going to delete, delete that for just now because I'm not perfect. I did do a dry run of this beforehand and you will see how that is created within Linux in a little while. This is your Flash 360 XCX which you will have launched within your Xbox to rip and reload your NAND Flash. So that's grand. That's our, our new image on the, on the pen there. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to take our Gen 2 Linux bootable CD we're going to remove our pen drive from the Xbox. To keep things simple, don't put the hard drive in the Xbox. Okay, keep this clean. And also put this in the back. It'll help with the instructions a little while later. It doesn't actually matter where you put it. It's not pivotal, but just make sure it's inserted. Okay, now, your wireless keyboard, in my experience, Linux won't boot or it will take absolutely forever to boot if you plug this in at the start. So I'll show you where to plug this in um, to ensure that Linux boots basically as quickly as possible. Okay, so start up your Xbox. And of course you've got Zell loaded so it should immediately go into Zell. Yeah, off we go. You know that's on to Zell there as you can see. And should try and boot from the network, fail and then realize that it can boot from the CD. It'll tell you that it's found VM Linux 1, it'll tell you it's loading files, and in a second you'll get a black screen. When that happens all your lights should turn orange, like so. It's just green and red LEDs activated at the same time, so don't worry about that, that's, uh, that's perfectly normal. And then you'll get this boot sequence, much like this. Now we've gone past the point where we were, <clears throat> or where Linux was looking to mount USB devices. So you could insert the, the keyboard and mouse here, um, although I prefer to wait for a moment. Now this is probably going to take a little while. So what I may well do is actually just pause the video here and I will come back to you once it has copied the read-write image contents to the temporary file system. Okay, so be aware that this, this may take a little while, your console hasn't crashed, um, just wait for it to, to finish um, and then plug in. Once that's done, you can then plug in your wireless keyboard and mouse. I will come back to you once that's done. Okay.